Okay, so when I was younger, I was in that part of the My Hero Academia fandom. You know, the type of kid that watched um, anime ASMR. I still do, but <laughs> anyways, I was like that part of the fandom. And when I tell you Akira Dubs had a physical, physical grip on me, I literally mean this man had a grip on me. I watched this guy more than I went to church. Religiously, I used to watch this man for hours on end just because of his Bakugo ASMRs. I would, on repeat, watch this man's ASMRs because I could. And it usually was like the same couple ones, like Bakugo meets your parents, and maybe for that one scene where he cusses out the family, which, if you have not watched, it's extremely funny. Uh, and... Actually, I was tricked into believing that, like, all of the Kira Dubs ASMRs was in the college AU. So I watched his um, NSFW ones a lot, which I no longer do. And recently I found out that, like, the person who told me that was lying to me, which is kind of weird. And, you know, I kind of regret watching all of those now because, you know, the characters in My Hero Academia are minors and I feel, like, weird about it. So, yeah. Hey, editing Alistair here. I'm just going to make this a bit more clear. So... I was lied to about watching um, the Akira dub things. Uh, I was told by somebody that I was close with, close with. I'm no longer close with them, but I was told that uh, all of Akira dub's ASMRs were like in a college AU, um, which they're obviously not. And I do not condone you watching any NSFW ASMR of the My Hero Academia characters because you know they're minors and it's weird and it's bad. I just want to preference that I don't watch it anymore. I find it disgusting. And the person that uh, I was friends with, I'm obviously no longer friends with them. And yeah, I don't condone watching NSFW ASMRs of minors. But there is one ASMR series that this guy created that forever is stuck in my head because of how fucking weird this is. Oh my gosh. So it is the Dragon King a ASMR series that he created that... Um, I'm gonna be talking about for a little bit. Um, so, first up, Bakugo in this AU is, like, he gets, like, demon powers, and he kind of runs hell, kind of. And, you know, one day, YN casually just, like, walks into, like, his castle thing, which I don't even know how she, um, they got in there. Um, by the way, they work for UA. And, no, the first, the whole first episode is just Bakugo being, like, Damn, bitch, you hot. Wanna be my wife? And, you know, Wyan saying yes because, you know, he's, like, fucking sa Satan. Um, also, forgot to mention, Wyan has a whole kid, but it's not with, like, anybody in the My Hero Academia universe. Something weird about Akira Dubs that, like, I'll talk about later is that this man has a whole universe of expanded characters. Like, the kid Wyan has is Levi's kid. Yes, Levi from Attack on Titan's kid, which is just hilarious to me. Absolutely hilarious. Yeah, the rest of the episodes are kind of like the Beauty, Beauty and the Beast kind of trope. Where, like, Wyan's like, Bakugo, stop. Well, not really. Bakugo kind of just does very bad things, and Wyan's kind of just like, okay. Which is kind of weird, in my opinion. At some point, he even kills Kirishima, which... Uh, yeah, that's weird. And then he lets, like, the women go because Bakugo says women's rights. Um, yeah. And he captures Midoriya and, like, Wyan's like, oh, Midoriya. Then Midoriya's like, hey, um, yeah, save everybody, please. And that doesn't even happen. I'm just gonna skip to the ending because the ending is so fucking hilarious. So it's like... Wyan and Bakugo are doing something because, you know, they're just doing things. They're adults. And at this point, Wyan's, like, pregnant. And Sebastian from fucking Black Butler comes in and is like, Hey, Bakugo, I'm gonna take your powers now, bitch, because he made a deal. And Sebastian just is like, Wyan, get up. I beat up your boyfriend. And Wyan's like, I can't. I'm pregnant. And then Sebastian makes a fucking spell. And, and like, yeah, they'll, they'll help the cramps because, you know, pregnant YN. Like, you're so fucking stupid. You fucked it. You fucked it, demon. 
And then Akira's self-insert, that's literally Sora from Kingdom Hearts, comes in, fights Sebastian, wins. Sebastian leaves. And then Kira's like, we have to get out of here and go to a different dimension and and leave. Bakugo just like passed out on the ground or some shit. And then um apparently they leave. He never continued the story with this like this YN or anything. He just kinda left it off there and like rebooted this story. So anyways, yeah. <laughs>